born in Kettering, studies in Glasgow, goes to France, studies the, the Barbizon uh, artists, Coro and all those sort of people, travels everywhere, Morocco, Japan, becomes very famous, highly sought after. And, I mean, and tell me what you think about this painting. Without seeming sophisticated myself, I like the freehand style, and I like the way that you can look at the picture in a, in a general way, as opposed to, in a relaxed way, as opposed to having to study the picture. I like the picture to speak to me, right. and absorb the colors and the, the sort of free flow of the painting. Because, it, you know, this sort of painting is really out of fashion today, because it, it speaks to you, but it sort of doesn't say a lot, does it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, I, and, and it's hard to think why East, who, I mean, East can paint beautiful things. I mean, these little views of Japan are absolutely exquisite, and some of his things. But generally, when he's painting this size, I find them, and I don't think I'm very different from the general no. public today, a bit boring. Yeah, a bit too big. Well, it's just, what's, there's not much going on, and I, you know, I don't think this is his best work either, this period. I mean, the way he melts all this in is fine, but he hasn't done terribly well here. No. It's not signed, but, I mean, you are quite sure it's an East. I'm, I'm confident it's an East. I'm confident it's an East too, so we'll agree on that. But not, not one of his better ones. No. Now, tell me about this. Tell me what you think about this. I think this is far more vibrant and more interesting. Um, it's small enough to hang in the living room, and it may have been a little bit nicer if the lady was facing us as opposed to away. But generally, I, you think I find a lady? it's, uh, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a good old uh, gardener. Is it of the younger male variety myself? But well, if these are nettles, he's got his work cut out. <laughs> I think it's a much better picture than that. Sure. It's got a better sure, composition. Sure. It's more vibrant, and actually, it's a different mentality. This is based on sort of Barbizon principles, which are going to the landscape in a certain way and going to the woods and painting quite dense subjects. This is based on Impressionist principles. Sisley and Pissarro going to commoner garden uh, domestic subjects uh, and landscapes and making them live in a way. And here is a garden and it's the garden of a reasonable house. Here is the garden boy. It's just a bit overgrown here, but Marguerite's and very French. So maybe he, it's not only feeling in, in France, maybe this is in France. Oh, really? But oh, that, on the other hand, that's rather an English roof, I think. Yeah. I think we're back to Kettering. <laughs> All right, good. <laughs> good. Um, right. A painting like this, which would have probably fetched a relatively large amount during his lifetime, uh, is relatively small on today's market. So I would say £1,500, £2,000, something oh, like that's, that. That's not too bad, then. Uh, this one, I think, really is a picture that would be desired. It's got a focal point. Uh, I can see sort of six to £8,000. You're kidding me. Well, why not? That is fantastic. That is really good. 